Have you ever been buzzed on so much caffeine, pulling all-nighters, fighting for your life to finish that essay that was due last night, and wondered, why on earth do you even need to sleep? In 1989, a scientist at the University of Chicago conducted an experiment to answer this very same question. The premise was simple. He placed two rats, experimental and control, on a disc above water. And when the experimental rat began to fall asleep, the disc would spin, such that both rats would have to scramble to stay on the disc. As such, while the control rat managed to have short bouts of sleep when the experimental rat was awake, the latter had no such luxury. Within a few weeks of total sleep deprivation, the experimental rat died. This proved that sleep was essential to survival. However, it wasn't until much later that scientists started to figure out why. It is now commonly believed that sleep helps to clear the metabolic waste products that accumulate in the interstitial space when you're awake. A little bit of this waste gets dissolved throughout the day, but it's when you sleep that most of it is cleaned by the influx of cerebral spinal fluid, or CSF. In the sleeping brain, less thinking occurs, allowing the astrocytes to shrink, increasing interstitial space by as much as 60%. During slow wave sleep, one of the deepest stages of sleep, the neurons will also begin to sync up their firing at a much slower frequency. Because the neurons have begun to fire and sync, there will also be moments in the brain where nothing is firing at all. Normally, there wouldn't be much space in your brain for CSF to fill, but because of this increased intercidal space, the CSF can easily wash over the brain, clearing out the waste in waves, during the moments when the brain isn't firing. The CSF then acts as sort of a lymphatic system to transfer the waste, including any spare neurotransmitters, to the blood. It is for this reason that prolonged sleep deprivation causes metabolic waste in your brain to increase, which eventually impedes neuronal interactions and ultimately results in death. In addition to removing metabolic waste, sleep is also commonly believed to play a role in facilitating memory, learning, and synaptic plasticity. During sleep, active removal of a specific type of glutamate receptor takes place, leading to an overall reduction in the excitation of neurons and corresponding synaptic strength. However, this decrease in neuronal size and number is not uniform across the brain. Smaller synapses shrink considerably more, and ones that are large enough can be entirely unaffected or even strengthened. This could be indicative of important memories being stored in these larger neurons, while less important memories are encoded in the smaller neurons. So, the next time you're chugging Red Bulls instead of hitting the hay, remember that it's probably doing you more harm than good.